There you are, Carl's got that bit in now. And you can see the reason we put the, let's just go down a little bit here. The reason we put the black membrane is so you don't actually see anything in that little gap, that little void. You've got to have a gap and uh, you're not going to see nothing between that. So look over here. So this is the uh, Aero cladding in charcoal. Very modern contemporary color and it's looking good. I like it. Good morning. I always like to start the vlog with uh, the earliest part of the day. We're a little bit late this morning. Uh, it's about half past seven. But look at the sunshine. It's going to be a glorious day. Uh, but what I want to show you again, because I'm just over the moon with them, is uh, let's, let's have a look. These roses from Proctor's Nursery. I don't even know the name of these roses. Um, what the what the name of, of this particular rose is, but that is absolutely stunning. I've had one that's gone out, come and gone over, and there's more buds coming again. I can see two, I can see three on there. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful peachy little colour. And then there's this, I don't know, I don't know what sort of, it's not, not a sort of colour you would call that. It's not yellow, but it's absolutely beautiful rose. And it's one of those old roses, absolutely stunning. And uh, there is some more buds coming through. Absolutely, it sits perfectly there amongst those salvias. I've got a bit of a mixed bag of salvias there, but absolutely stunning. But today, we've got to continue with the Aero decking cladding wall. So I think it's gonna be a warm day today. Completely different contrast from yesterday. So let's get on it. Well, I always keep this book with me because <laughs> it's guaranteed that when you're trying to identify some shrubs, you you uh, you won't know what it is and uh, but with this it helps me to actually learn a little bit more about plants as well so I can just go through tell me about the gene species uh, the varieties the site the soil the propagation etc so it just helps it's just good to have one with you in the van well this is how we left it yesterday this is the aero board in charcoal um, I'm gonna keep reminding you of what it is 
but you can see Jack there now using the the camo okay and you can see putting the screws in on an angle and secret fixing <laughs> There we are, I just want to show you what the board looks like close up. It goes through various treatments, BSW put it through, and then, or Aero Timber I should say, and then they put this Rubio Monocoat on the top, and that really does repel the water. Well, I'll let those those two can get on with that now and I'm gonna start probably doing this side. Just sat down here now, the lads are just behind the tree there, they're getting on with the uh, the aero board. Uh, it looks good. Just if I can scroll in so you can actually see it. Difficult to appreciate um, on this video of how good it, it actually looks and I'm sure that somebody's gonna say that they don't like it and you can just paint boards with normal paint or Cupronol or one of those garden colors or whatever but the fact is that um, this method of preserving wood uh, is it comes from an ancient method Japanese method called Yakisugi uh, or they call it Shosugi Ban and uh, a lot of Western companies have adopted this now and uh, a lot of companies call it thermal wood. So what they've done, the beauty of this wood, it's actually been kiln dried, uh, it's been treated and then it's been burnt. I, I can't remember exactly the, the process. We have been invited to go to a, to do a factory tour at BSW in Dalbiti. So I don't think they're gonna show us everything what they actually do, because it's a secret and you know companies invest a lot of money to, getting their products right and uh but it is a beautiful product and it does work just sat here in the, in the corner of the garden leave the lads get on now but there's going to be a lot more to be said on this this cladding and i think it's going to start trending like it does with the decking here they come vlog now just say that seriously i'm with justin now we've met on the internet haven't we yeah all right and uh it doesn't yeah 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 it doesn't matter it doesn't matter yeah. look just, I'll, I'll go over it. Explain to us your your process behind this, creating perfection from a company that you can trust. Yeah, so when I started Brick Right, I mean, obviously, you know, we, we want to call it Brick Right because if, if, we're, it's positive. if we're Brick Wrong, we, you know, we've got to do things right. It, mm. it's, it's putting pressure on us every single day um, to, do to perform in a right way, to, to perform for the client and also to, for the boys to perform to me, for my staff to perform yeah. to me. So we've got this other logo that we got which is creating perfection for the company you can trust, which says everything about, you know, what we are, what we want to do, what we aspire to be. And that's your standard you've set yourself, haven't that you? That's the standard that we set, and absolutely. Look, I, I'll be honest with you, sometimes I think, when I, when I mark myself at the end of the jobs, right, and I mark myself quite hard, because yeah. I know, I know, I know that it could have been better in certain places, like, you know, but... But by having that ethos, what you yeah. said there, what's on your van and yeah. the writing, is yeah. you're setting your standards, Absolutely. aren't you? You're setting your stall, aren't you? You know, I've come to see you today because I've seen a couple of your videos, mm. which, you know, you, you are bringing over to me in your videos what exactly what I stand for. So I just felt a draw to come and have a chat with you today so we could gain a little yeah. experience off each other to do exactly that. Yeah. Not just for me, because... The way I was taught from apprenticeship was, you know, I was always taught that when you do a job, I've got to be happy with that job myself yeah. first before the client. Absolutely. I've got to be happy with it as a tradesman. So, you know, every time we go in the van, every time we're out and about, this this is what we're this is what we're aspiring to be. Yeah. Every single job with with a real passion to do that, you know. And then if you can if you can make the next job better than your last job. 
that that's exactly yeah, you, where you're never as good as your last job. You're only as good as the next job, aren't yeah, you? Exactly. Yeah, you know. And we all have these these sayings. Just you know, like with the YouTube videos, it's not just about me and, and what I do, but don't you think it's promoting dialogue? Because what you what I want from it is for you to comment on it and say, yeah. John, why don't you try this? That Absolutely. you know, and I, you know, I, I, I was a little bit, I was a little bit. Um, kind of looking for a little bit of inspiration to, to keep this going, what I've got going, what we've been doing for the last 10, 15 years. I was looking for a bit of inspiration. Customers are happy with what we do. You know, mm. it, it ain't broke, don't fix it. We could have carried on doing exactly what we do. Not a problem at all. But I, I wanted personally to push my business forward. And, you know, yeah, I do know one or two landscapers, but you, you don't want to go pinching ideas off them. You, you don't want them to pinch ideas off you. You want but your then, own, I suppose. You know, but then when you, when you see what you were all about and what you stand for in terms of the, the quality of work that you do, which was the same quality as what we're doing mm -hmm. on a daily basis, I found that connection. And then the materials we, you, you were using and the fact that you wanted to see me today and the fact you spoke to me a few times on the phone and help me with the with the ruby saw. Yeah, why not? Why, but is there anything wrong with helping people? Absolutely yeah. not. Share I'm, your knowledge, because that knowledge you know, we've got, yeah. we're only leasing it, aren't we? We're not, we? We can't take it with Absolutely. us, can we? I think it's fantastic, and the fact that you're local. You know, I'm, I'm a Cardiff boy, living in Pontypridd. You're Newport, so you were local. Yeah. So it was good for us to meet together. Yeah. And it's it's constructive, and it, it's the only way forward because this industry needs people like you and me and others on the, on the internet on your on your blog and on the yeah. thing you've got going on facebook and stuff to uh, to progress yeah and that progresses for us and yeah. then it progresses for the client as yeah. well then, but it? The, this is the thing don't you find that uh, sometimes um some contractors they don't want to help each other do they 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 try to steer away no, don't they no but the, what they'll do then is you know that they'll get bogged down with their own ideas because there's there's many people out there that are talented within our industry who've got so many uh, new ideas. I mean, I'm looking at, I'm a brickie by trade, so I'm looking at, there's a lot of cladding coming onto the market now, mm. isn't there? Yeah, there is. A lot of cladding, that's, uh, you know, you can build your block work and you can put a, a, a lots of stuff, of yeah. cladding onto it. So yeah. I see that my trade within the next two or five years, maybe, is going to be going into a lot of cladding. Yeah. Like decorative cladding, especially It's the aesthetics that's changing, isn't yeah, it? Exactly. So, mm. I mean, you know, at the moment, we don't do that. I'm finding out about it to move the business forward, to be able to do that. And this meeting with you today, and, and the conversations we've had in the videos that you produce, mm. it, it enables people like me and other people to share our ideas to, to progress. Yeah. The, the do you think, uh, just that the that these this cladding is just a trend, or do you think um, do you think it's because of the world's changing how we're using materials, or, or what? I mean, I'm a traditionalist. I mean, I don't think there's anything better than a, a decent face brick mm. myself, you know. But everybody wants more contemporary, modern everybody things. Everybody wants more contemporary. And, and you know, you, you go to see clients. Some people, you know, we've we got a bit of a, a garden on the go now where there's a Mediterranean theme to it mm. and, and a Japanese theme to it. Yeah, yeah. So you've got to try and put that into the So garden. you're adapting, aren't you, really? Adapting, yeah, mm. absolutely. From where, we, from where we started off using standardised materials, you know, 10, 12 years ago, We've uh, we, we, we've got to change. Do you know we've been talking on this bit now for nearly six minutes? Oh, it'll be a job to load it up. <laughs>
I hope so. It's looking good, a little bit like me. Have a great weekend and uh, see you Monday.